It's okay. Yay. It started. Very good. Previously, on the Sword Coast and Realms Beyond, in an effort to acquire allies in the fight against Helm's Horde and their puppet master, Shuloth, you had agreed to help Asian Korzak find long-lost documentation proving that she had legitimate claims to the Council of Sparkling Stone, which is the ruling governmental body of Mirabar. For this kindness, she would offer you the service of her, twel of her 12 grandchildren and herself, powerful magic users all, in the coming conflict against the Horde. You descended into the Koruzak Mines, where drowned under, an otter, uh, drowned under an underwater lake, it's a bad sentence that I wrote, uh, <laughs> is a temple of Garenzin, where the heritage documents supposedly reside. During your time down here, you traversed a very moldy cave and retrieved a haversack, along with some potions that were connected to it. You met a ghost of one of Asian's former husbands, apparently banished down here to die after cheating on his wife and he offered his extensive gem collection to you if you were to kill a group of orcs that were nearby. Upon meeting the orcs, you found them to be very protective and skittish, looking for a way to move themselves and their babies out of the mines into the surface. You also came in contact with some umber hulks in an adamantine cave. Here's a chunk of that adamantine. Dove headed off to the north, where he found a dark sandy beach covered in huge mushrooms and an underground lake spanning endlessly and endlessly into the distance. Can we talk about nature on those mushrooms? He also heard the rhythmic chanting of the word Dagush. Dagush. And that is where we been. What would you like to do? You guys are... Um, I dash up to the beach to get uh, catch up to Dub. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like 10 minutes away from you guys. I have like at least a 10 minute head start because you took the mine cart all the way back up to the surface. All right, then I turn into a horse, and then I dash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I walk at a normal pace. <laughs> okay. Leisurely, Vicky. Um, uh, where are we? Here, ba ba ba. There we go. There we are. Okay. Um, since so, uh, yeah. Um, we are. Is it that we just were we underneath the? in the underground passage and like we're like yeah. on our way out of it at this point yeah we were dropping off the adamantine yeah okay. you're, you're at the um, staging area where you first arrived at this place okay you're in the elevator yeah um, so um we're walking yeah i mean i was gonna have i was gonna have dove roll perception but i don't want to roll for you and say this is what you got I'm I'm like right in front of the apartment. If you want to like tend to them for like five minutes, right. I'll be I'll be on like. What so the rest back. of you like to to do on your way uh, back to the place? Uh, Taurus is gonna fucking look at the rocks. How are these rocks looking? I think I actually did that last time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, you can roll um rock check. Yeah, investigation with Taurus. Are those rocks yeah. natural or made? Yeah. Yeah, are these are these artisanal rocks. Please rock? enlighten us, Taurus. So it's really not too hard to tell um, what is what is man-made and what is not. Pretty much everything around you is. I could uh, probably tell that. Yeah, everything around you is almost everything around you is dwarven-made, um, but the uh, the adamantine cave seems like there's portions that are natural, and the orc portion seemed like it was dug out um, by. Someone without skill and the moldy hole also seemed like it was dug out with. The, oh, um, someone without skill. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't braced or anything or like. Oh. So he says this doesn't look like dwarfs would do something this lame. He's like, like I could do better than that. Yeah. No. He's like, Real dwarf would fucking worth <laughs> this. Huh? Lamp died dwarves, um, yeah. and uh, so. so. Do you want to? Uh, did you actually turn into a horse, or what are you doing? <laughs> Uh yeah yeah I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Into I your want to make sure I want to make sure Dub is like not dead in a ditch somewhere. Okay. Um, would you like to ride all the way up to where you assume he is? Yeah, I'll dash all the way uh, until I see him. Taurus and I have a bet that he is dead in a ditch. <laughs> um, for uh one silver. Okay. One silver. One silver. That's Duff, nothing. Come Duff, on. You can make past where the Umber Hulk room is. I say I'll, I'll raise it up to a gold if you guys want to match me. And we're like, oh, okay, well, what, what do you want? Maybe ripped in twain? Yeah, luckily, uh, I'm not a like, gambling man, or else I would raise you. 
I was born again. Right. Um, Dove, as you're as you're uh, galloping, uh, he's not here. Oh, sorry, I meant. Oh wait, uh, you mean, you're talking about me? Yeah. yeah. As you're galloping past the uh, the river in the the room, the adamantine cave, I mm -hmm. would like you to make a nature check for me, please. I would love to make a nature check, boo. Fifteen. Um, so you are like you were probably thinking about this before. Uh, but if you had to guess, the this river probably leads to somewhere in the outside. Um, okay. Uh, at least it originates from it. It's not like a super big, flat, fast-flowing river. It's just a trickle, like a little stream. Um, All right. Do I um, know which direction, or do I sense which direction is outside? Yeah, you, you, you're guessing that this originates somewhere from the outside because you're like, oh, the mountain, and it's probably, you know, this time of year, the snow has already melted all. And Can I, like, feel a breeze or anything from outside? Uh, you can't feel a breeze as much as you just kind of put it together in your mind. Um, right. And you figure that to the south, where the, the river is flowing from the south to the north, um, like, if you look at the map. Uh, okay. The water is going to the north. Right. You figured that if you go to the south, that that's what you eventually find um, the surface somewhere. All right. Um, how far ahead am I from uh, Ricky and... Taurus and uh, beat. We're just leisurely walking. I imagine they're kind of halfway through the, the tunnel here, probably almost up to the neck of this. Um... All right. I'll just make a mental note and then uh, continue galloping. Okay. Um, so you move forward a little bit as a horse. Would you like to... You're just moving normally? I move forward as a horse. I move I backwards as a beetle. I move forward again as a horse. As I can. So 120 feet per okay. round. You're, not, you're definitely not being stealthy. You're beating hooves. Oh, no. Uh, Okay, so eventually your hooves stop clopping against the rock and they, they start kicking up sand uh, as you're moving through here. And yeah, it's pretty quick to see in front of you uh, this endless lake um, stretching out like fucking forever. Do I um, see that? A roll perception check. Alright. 23. Yeah, you totally do. Um, he's kind of at the mouth he's of the... Of the... I uh, turn back into elf form and I call out, wait. Well, the real question that I have is, do they love me like you love me? Maps? So, Doug, oh, is this hear, thing on? You hear... Uh, and, uh, right, it must be um, muted. Yes. All I hear is bad jokes. Um, <laughs> you rolled bad on the joke uh, scale check. Yeah. So you do hear... Um, for you. Uh, Dove, you hear... Bjorn behind you say, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. Pick up that game. Wait. Hey, you. Hey, hey, you. Pick up that game. Brandon, Bjorn is talking to you. Yes. I heard him say that. Um, is rolling. this uh, as soon as I, uh, like, as soon no. as the session starts? I call out wait to dub, and then uh, I'm like, whoa, and I get distracted by the giant mushrooms. Yeah. And as soon as you you yell wait, the the chanting Nagush Nagush stops. Oh shit. Um. Uh oh. Fog cloud. Fog uh, cloud. <laughs> and at this point, uh, both of you can roll perception. Or oh, I would like you. Use guidance. No choice if you'd like to. Oh, never mind. There's no need. Twenty-three and fourteen. Um, so you do, uh, uh, Bjorn, uh, you, you scan the, yeah, you get caught up with the mushrooms and you're just like, huge fucking purple mushrooms, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. And as you're, as you're scanning them, uh, you see probably about a hundred feet from you curving around the, uh, the beach where the lake is, you see some see Nagus. humanoid figures, three, um, and they seem to be kind of like hacking at the mushrooms. Oh no! How dare they hurt my precious mushrooms? But um, they must be punished. Kill them. Pete, you're recording, uh, right? Haven't turned yeah, can, I, uh, can I roll nature on the mushrooms? Sure. Yeah, Peter, is everything okay there? Yes. Okay, because your camera I use guidance. I just unplugged out. it. Okay. So eleven. It's looking pretty awesome. Eleven. Um, you're not sure exactly what kind of mushroom this is. Uh. Something probably originating from the Underdark, though. Okay. You're not... Actually, hold on. Does it look edible? That's what I was going to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat it either way, so... Yeah. Yeah. 
Is it edible? You're not sure. I eat it. And it's like, you die. You lose. You lose. You die oh. to death. You don't live. <laughs> you uh, don't live. Um, yeah, I'll say to Dub. E uh, you. Nice. <laughs> I'll say, Dub, wait a minute. Don't drink your potion. Or... Well, he doesn't have them. I have the potion. Oh, yeah. I have five potions of water breathing. Yeah, you, um... Uh, an 11 nature, if you had to make an educated... An, un an, an uneducated guess, you'd say that these are probably edible. Yay. Okay. And they're purple? Big purple caps, yeah. The, st the stalks are kind of light purple, almost whitish. All right. Um, I'll just cut a chunk off and uh, save it to examine later. All right. Um, yeah, so you see these uh, humanoids um, kind of moving how, around. How far away are they? About 100 feet from you. In, it, but it's all pitch black here. You know, so. Okay, but I can Besides, see. There's like, there seems to be some kind of like bioluminescence in the ceiling, which is hundreds of feet above you. But it's not. it doesn't so, matter. Really can I see across the lake? Uh, not the whole way. Uh, definitely not the whole way. Uh, you can see, what's your dark vision? It's like 60 feet? 60 feet. Yeah, you can't. Uh, it goes on beyond your sight. Uh, but you do, uh, like Dove also saw, you saw you, there's this arm sticking out of the water holding a sword somewhere way off in the distance. Yeah, it's like a big statue, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll Fire. wait for the uh, rest of the party to arrive. Well, would this all be before, like, at the end of last session, the last thing I wanted to do was, like, drink the potion and walk into the dungeon. You don't have the potion, you though, Kyle. Kyle had all, all five potions in my inventory. I find that hard to believe because Dove would not have not had his own. I potion. was the last one there when she I did check back. I did. I, I checked back on the session, and he said that you stash all the potions. Yes. Okay. So, but even if you did, I told you to wait. Um, so find it hard to believe. I have the moon made. I say, uh, Dub, can you see those? Um, can you see those figures? Can you make them out? Uh, I sort of wave a hand over my shoulder and say, Yes, yes. I'm more interested in the dungeon and getting uh, getting this over with. Okay. So we casually arrive. So you, uh, the other boys, <laughs> I would say at this point are probably. Um, yeah, you're you're coming through the neck of the of the little adamantine cave there, and you you also hit sand now. Okay, uh, so first of all, I tell everyone that uh, I think there's a way out of the cave through the river. Okay, as you start talking to them, um, you like turn your head and you're somewhere out, <laughs> and then you hear like a splash, like the jumping, oh, no. like some, um, the, and you look to I, where the humanoids were, and they're not there anymore. I can oh, shit. see 120 feet in the dark. Can I, did okay. I see any of that? Roll perception check. Because you're probably barely... I like just got there, so... Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll perception check. Woo! Probably I not. You, you would have heard the, you would have heard the, the splash. You he rolled like, a 12. Like three splashes in the say, water. It looks like we're not the only ones here. And um. I sort of... I sort of stand back to get ready to intercept something. I fucking, yeah, I get on my nunchucks, I'm like, what the fuck? Bunch of fish, fish men here. I say, um, you guys keep watch. I want to cast a, uh, a spell on us, and I start casting water breathing and water walking as a ritual. Are those two different spells? Yeah. Uh, are they, uh, concentration? If you're water walk, can you not walk through water if you don't want to? Yeah, it's like you can force yourself to go underwater. You don't okay. like have to walk on it. Because we did this once before and we weren't going under, so I didn't know like the yeah. end rules. I'll be like, okay, I read a, I saw a thing on Sage Advice about it. So I'm going to. Neither of those are concentration. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But water walk only lasts an hour, so. Plenty of time for me. Mm. Water breathing lasts for 24 hours. I say, everyone uh, sit down for like 20 minutes while I uh, do something. Okay. I owe um, Taurus one gold 
um, because uh, <laughs> Dub was not ripped in twain. <laughs> Rent in twain. Rent in twain. So I says, pay me, Ricky. Yeah. Um, my gold. So I'm going to... Why does Taurus have so much gold? Holy fuck. Uh, Bjorn, uh, does he really have a lot of gold? Uh, he Bjorn, has over a thousand gold. He has so much gold because he found full plate oh. armor. Oh, yeah. Uh, what? Bjorn, uh, what's what's the range of this incantation that you're doing here? Um, 30 feet. They say, okay, great. And I say, Alton. They say, I everyone, everyone uh, the air. sit down near me while um, I cast this spell. Okay, so. Oh, what is Taurus's armor class? It says nine right now. He has. Yeah. Uh, you gotta redo it. Drag the plate mail from the uh, SRT into your inventory. Uh, so what's the SRT? Press the I yes. and then search plate mail. And like, he has plate, right? Yes. I don't know. You can drag uh, it uh, into I. his inventory. You mean the gear? No, the the the, the lowercase he, I. He has eighteen. But, so if you just want to write an eighteen. Yeah. Right? I don't know how to where the I is. I'm on his sheet. Oh no! I was talking about on the on the toolbar on roll twenty. Oh, the text okay. Box. Yeah. Well, this is fine. Yeah, it that's also it. totally fine. Um, yeah. I want to see if I can get a better look at the water. Uh, this don't lie. This don't lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> paper can't notes. change. The notes. Boom. The notes. Uh, sorry, Pete. What were you saying? I want to to rise up about twenty feet in the air and. Whoa. Uh, and then uh, move him. over about another twenty feet. Um, what do you know, my and see if I can see into the water if anything is coming towards us. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the wings come out, and uh, up into the cavern you kind of hover. Um, yeah, you can. What's your? Um, I'm sorry, I always ask. 120, you said? 120 feet. Of that's darkness. just just so stupid that it's hard to believe. I don't that. understand <laughs> why he why she gets it. Does she get it because, because she's a gnome? Because I, gnomes, gnomes have dark vision. And then the, uh, what are they called? Uh, oh, the goggles of night. Goggles oh, of night. I see. Let's, let's yeah. double check it because every anytime anybody says something in this game, I always... No, it's true. It's true. It, I have it increases too, so its know. range. Okay. So he's got, if, he's if got you like have the, dark vision, uh, wearing like goggles increases your range colors, by 60 feet. Yeah. yeah, I'm like I like to think of it like uh, Silence of the Lambs. I like have like those yeah. night vision goggles. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I look like. Girl. Yeah, but uh, mine look like a bird, and they're like weirder, and they have like auspits, and they like move. Yeah. The mine. All right. So you do take a you take a little float uh, on over the um, the lake, uh, and with that much vision, you can start to see the edge of the back of the wall. Uh, 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 we were in a dirt bike rally. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Bedstock. That's the wings of Bedstock. He's adding oh, mercy. No, uh, that's that, that's uh that's, that's the Bara. dirt bike of driving. <laughs> that's Bara running around. It's Bara. <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw uh, you. you, you see probably what you what you make out to be an edge of the lake, uh, way off in the distance. Oh, yeah. Um, and looking down into the lake, um, it seems like pretty dark water. Um, it you you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, looking uh, for like ripples and rustling and bubbles, nothing there. There is, uh, there is a little, little bit of movement uh, on the water surface. It's not complete glass. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had to guess, there's something feeding this lake from somewhere. Maybe that river that you passed by. Yeah. Um, and uh, so there is a bit of movement. Uh, make a perception check. For me. <laughs> okay, not, not great. I, you see uh, a whitefish, uh, like a small whitefish kind of yum, uh, yum. through the water. I uh, hear that fish. Okay, so seeing that, I'm going to go um, back so I'm hovering over like the land and still okay. obviously within the range of uh, 30 feet, like Bjorn said. And I'm just going to kind of like hover over and just keep a very close eye out to see if I can get a jump on anything that might be coming towards us. Okay. Basically, just taking. I say, I, I really think I'm not sure if we have however long it takes for you to send that. Like, did anybody see what splashed into the water? No, but we heard it. Uh, Dove and uh, Dove and. Um... I say that it might have been uh, the humanoids that were on the beach. Who? What the fuck? What humanoids? Oh, I saw some humanoids. Uh, they looked like they were carving the mushrooms, and then they disappeared. 
Oh, Great. that's completely fine. We'll probably have to murder them, I would imagine. So keep that's an what eye out. End up doing. Also, after I finish uh, casting the spells, I want to ask the party if we should escort the orcs out or wait until after. Well, the orcs uh, don't want to go back to where they were and they don't want to leave yeah, the there's only a way, way they can. There's a natural way out of the cave, up the river, from that room. Where does that natural way go, though? Well, I don't know. I'm saying, should we try to investigate that now, or do you want to wait till later? You got. You all have been dragging your feet long enough. If you would just hand me the potion of water breathing, I'm ready to go into the dungeon, and I'm, I'm growing somewhat water impatient. You, I think you can breathe underwater now. Yeah, I fucking reach. I go to the edge of the water. Can I just breathe water? <laughs> has it been? Has How it been? Long is, uh... Oh yeah, definitely. I thought it was right. I stick. I stuff my head underwater and go. Oh, oh, the first thing that you the first thing that you you notice uh, is that you do have these kind of ghostly. Um, they're not like in your skin, but they they look like they're like magically put there. Gills. Um, uh, it's like in the Harry Potter movie. A little bit, yeah, but it's not like you're actually that's changing. Like graphic, like that's like yeah. horrifying. Has it been twenty minutes? Like, can we walk on water too, or not yet? Um, I'd say not quite yet. Uh, I okay. did my head underwater. Because you have to do those one wait. at a time. I don't think you can ritual two spells at a time. Yeah, no, I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, so you finished you finish the water breathing. You all have kind of these arcane gills now. I say, Ricky, wait a minute. Don't get, don't go too far. I'm like, chill out. I dip my head underwater. So you, uh, and you, yeah. And uh, it's, as, it's weird because it's so easy. It's just like, yeah. Like, oh. I look around. Can I see anything underwater? Am I like a fish in the... No, your vision really isn't helped by this. Uh, oh, it's still like cloudy. Do the like goggles the... work underwater? Actually, you have goggles, yeah, so you can see all right. You can see them the same distance that you normally can, but it's yeah. like it's like being dark. You know, like goggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like when I mean, your glasses is... are all fogged up. All right. I pop up and I'm like, that nah, fucking the demons that probably haunt the lake probably like went back to hell or whatever. <laughs> I'm like I'm like laughing. I'm like, <laughs> like well, cool. we can we. I mean, those orcs thoughts. aren't going anywhere. Let's let's settle what we have to do here. If we yeah. want to go underwater right now, let's fucking get this done. I'm a little nervous. I've never breathed underwater before. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. I fucking drag her to the edge, and I'm like, it's the first I I, heard I, I, I I push off and float into the air. I say, I don't worry, Brina. I have faith in my magic. Yeah. So I have faith in your magic. I just don't know how well I'm going to be able to operate under there. And also, <laughs> if this will work, can I fucking throw a explosive potion into yeah. the... Water is still pouring uh, out of my mouth. Like, uh, no, not into the water. Okay. It cracks open on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> igniting the walls. Or not igniting, but... The lighting. walls burn down. We burn down. Yeah. Everybody takes four... Fucking of mushroom damage. decimating damage. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I um. Yeah. Wait I sit down and wait. Over. Okay. So you wait another twenty minutes, and it is like eerily quiet. This place, like all your voices echo, because uh, there's just this huge empty space, and um, there's no movement on the water. There's no move where the air is just kind of stale. Only every once in a while you can like little like rocks fall. Off in the distance, somewhere like in the mine. When was the last time we rested? A long time ago. Yeah, no. we haven't. Yeah. At the bulwark, I think. I have plenty of spells left. Yeah, I've got everything I really need. Yeah, I do too, but it has been a while. Yeah, but if I'm gonna role play exhaustion, I'm sure that that uh, thing. No, that it hasn't been that long. Oh, okay. Then yeah, we're fine. We I'm rested probably, before we no. came here. Yeah, you've been down here for like a couple hours. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, um, I'm going to, just for funsies, uh, stick my head in your water. Uh, can I see anything with my sick-ass goggles? Yeah. Do your first breathe. Yeah. Oh, perception. Do like a little sip. You're like, uh, since you're like Hawkeye. I would cast Guidance, but I'm 13, busy. 13, baby. 13? 13 million miles. Let's see. You see a whitefish. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> you see that whitefish. A delicious whitefish. Yeah, I wave at the fish. Yeah. Um, so, Brina, you look under the water. 
um, and it is a bit cloudy, but you can make out what you think would be the arm and body of that statue that's poking out out of the water. Okay. Uh, it, and it's just obviously a statue. There's nothing particularly... It's a statue covered in water. Nothing particularly interesting. Uh, so you look down, and it is... It's um, It looks like it's a crude statue of someone like holding up a, a sword into the air. Um, it doesn't have any feet, uh, because the feet seem to be part of a, uh, a, a roof. And then that roof kind of goes farther down, and it looks like it's just settled in the silt of the ground, whatever building used to be there. Booch, do me a favor. Tap your microphone. Hey, Marley. You're not using that microphone. Thanks for... Why does no one tell me these things? <laughs> I couldn't tell. So I couldn't tell that. Nah. Really? The audio files. Um, but that's what you see, Pete. I'll try fixing it. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, I can't really see anything besides that statue. Is the statue a humanoid or... Uh, a no fishman? It question. seems like a crude... It's, uh, it's hard to tell. From this distance, but yeah, humanoid. Of a some humanoid, sort. yeah, it's a humanish thing, yeah. Right. Human esque. Human. I'm like, well, how how many hours have we been sitting? Let's go fucking yeah. for a swim, huh? Be patient, Ricky. I'm hey. catching my space. Oh my god! Uh, like, what, what are you doing? You're just like moving hey. shit around your hands. While You're this like... while this is happening, I'm gonna I'm gonna float down in the ground and I'm going to infuse. Uh, cure Me? wounds into uh, one of my vials. Um, and then I say, while we're waiting, uh, Brino, why don't you take a look at those mushrooms, see if you can see what they are. Okay. Sure. Am that's, I allowed that's... to talk while I'm casting a ritual? I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, while I'm uh, fucking uh, creating a uh, potion, potion vial, uh, cure wounds vial, uh, Looking at the mushrooms, do I recognize them or anything like that? The mushrooms? Yeah. Uh, roll a uh, nature check. Do I sound any different? Any better? Uh, you don't sound any different. I can't hear anything. I have bad ears. Yeah, you sound completely fine. Not Nothing. using that mic. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Everything. <laughs> Will do. I'm having a lot of trouble hearing Booch. He keeps like halfway through a sentence. He'll just cut yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah, my name's Chris. And then you guys see up. And then over there, it's. Like, that's what it sounds like to me. So. Sounds fine to me. It happens, like, rarely, but I, I, I have heard that. <gasps> God damn, why does it always default to this garbage? <laughs> my mic goes, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> no ball. It's after it. Because the cat, remember, Brandon? The cat walked on it while we were adding the microphone. Walked on? Oh, the piano? No, the cat walked on the keyboard while we were adding the mic. So the oh, mic name is like, like nine, 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 eight, <laughs> nine. <laughs> That's the best part. Can't hear you, Booch. Nope, nothing. Man, I'm really pissed because I wanted to just like suck down that potion of water breathing and like go into the dungeon and just like keep things moving. Still nothing, Booch. I'll be right back. I'll be right here. I will be somewhere in between. Somewhere in the between? Will you live the life of which we all dreamed? Brandon. Was that a song lyric? Yeah, Brandon? Yeah. Brandon? Yeah. Dylan, did you buy me a hundred pizzas? Oh fuck, I forgot. I'm back. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hello? Tap the mic. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. It's working? Me. Yes. Uh -huh. Fucking God almighty, I hate audio And you audio sound problems. so much better. Holy crap. Yeah, I know. It's because I have a nice, expensive uh, condenser microphone that wins the <laughs> Windows doesn't... They're, they're like, no, 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 use the $20 camera. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> fucking fuck. I fucking hate that shit so much. It, like, it really, really grinds my gears. Anyways. <laughs> Boils my bottom. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, fucking Brina. Uh, you had wanted to know what kind of mushrooms these were. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll a nature check, please. 
I hear Lucy, maybe we'll get her. She's clawing at the door. 18. Come on in, Lucy! Yeah, yeah so you recognize these as Zerkwoods. Uh, they're massive mushrooms that can reach, when they're in their natural habitat, the height of 30 or 40 feet. Whoa. Um, it has large grain-like spores that are edible and nutritionally equivalent to 1d4 plus 4 pounds of food. But zerkwood is more important for its hard and woody stalks. Whoa, so it is one of the few sources of timber in the Underdark, used to make furniture, containers, bridges, and rafts, among other things. Skilled crafters can use and... You stain, sanding, and polishing to bring out different patterns oh, no. from Zerk Wood. Rena knows more about Ooh. nature than me. That's so embarrassing. Um, yeah. But these are definitely either babies or not in their natural habitat to grow to that size. So the stalks are not like woody like like that. It's um, used for construction? So yeah, uh, Bjorn, I say, yeah. Um, yeah, these are just the uh, conventional mushrooms of the Underdark. Ah. One of them. Uh, and they're not poisonous? I can touch them and not kind of spray me with Spores? Yeah, as far as we them? know, unless they're covered in spores. Oh, boy. Spores, so, but the spores, the spores are edible. You should, uh, you should consider not. I take a, the chunk out of my general. backpack and I take a bite out of it. Um, so you realize that you did, you took some of the stock, um, which is definitely uh, uh, like it's the woody, and you're like <laughs> chewing on it, you're like. This is good. It's like it's like snow. It's like snow peas when you don't take out that little when that little fiber like gets caught in your, uh, in your mouth. All right. It's like um, that, but a lot of it. I missed how big these ones currently are. I these that. ones are, um, I think I said they're like ten feet tall. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, fucking ask for a dagger from. Oh my god, I can't remember her name. Alessa. Uh, Alessa, Alessa, and uh, have her cut me some because I'm running low on food. Uh, she'll climb up um, one of the stalks and snip yeah. off some of the some of the spores on the top. Yeah. Um, and these are like they, they hang down off of the cap almost like uh, like like grain like like you know okay. like, so like they kind of dangle say, there uh, and she cuts it off co a couple of them and brings them down ooh. back to you. Uh, roll one d four plus four. One d four plus four. Okay. Also, quick note about Alessa, Pete. Uh, write this down somewhere. Uh, she has sixty four HP instead of eighty four. Oh shit! Okay, hang on. You got nerve. I nerfed her a bit. She had a big nerf. Big old she, had, she had 84 nerf. HP, so oh my god, probably take it yeah. down. That's yeah. more than Taurus. And, uh, 40. and she can only attack twice instead of three times per turn. <laughs> Poor girl. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to say had a chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say to Brina that uh, I saw these uh, humanoids taking 64. some of the mushroom. 64. So they, they must be using it for food, and they probably brought it back to their lair, wherever they're living. But you think these are underdark creatures? I would assume you didn't, so. You didn't get a real good look at them. You oh. can't really tell. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming they just looked like they, they were bipedal, what... had two arms, two legs. I would guess that they have some sort of means of uh, breathing underwater. If they Dove waves his arm and interrupts Bjorn and says, "Aren't you supposed to be casting a ritual?" Am I finished? At this point, sure. Yeah. yeah. He has I walk stuff. into the lake. <laughs> I go. Dove, am I the finished? Lake. I just start walking, and regardless yeah. of what I wave else goodbye says, to Dove. I walk into the lake. And I go to the dungeon. Okay, you start walking. Right. But you notice that you're walking on top of the water. <laughs> um, yep. So you're you're off walking. If you had to guess, I mean, if you're guessing that the the dungeon is around where that statue is, it's probably about a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty feet. Um, I go. I'll follow right. sixty feet behind him. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, Taurus and I walk together. And uh -huh. remove uh, close to Bjorn. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Do you sound like glomp, 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 glomp? Yeah. It's almost like it's almost like walking on the water is almost like walking on a water bed. Uh, like you don't pierce through, but it is like bleh, 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 oh, no. like every step. Um, Alessa, <laughs> Alessa dives in and walks right with um, uh, fucking Dove. Brandon, your okay. name says Brandon. Doesn't say Dove um, for some reason. Yeah, Alessa starts swimming like a fucking champion swimmer, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything she can do? Not really. Um, so I need to read this very. She swims twice a turn. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, the cat got me so covered in fucking hair. Over in sixty per feet. All right, this oh, is interesting. Me. Okay, um, so you're just proceeding across the water, normally, all of you. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we wait. Can we go under? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think I'd take a tentative step downward into the ocean. Yeah, you do the. You just start walking down like a. Well, <laughs> yeah, like stairs. <laughs> Fresh yeah. water. Yeah. I do a um, water ball fight. Right. I get offended that you think it's the ocean and not Braggish one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like the ocean. I've never seen the ocean before. Okay, so you're you're going, you're going, and the water is just continually getting you know over yourself, and then eventually you're completely under. Um. Make a perception check, Ricky. Okay. Let's see what we got here. B -b 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 perception is right here. Can I cast guidance? I mean... Uh, just take a left. Oh. Oops. Ten. Advantage. Yeah, it's real tough. It's it, it's super dark advantage in here. You can, Wait, you can is Marley out. here? No. Yeah, okay. I am. Hi. Oh, Marley! Whoa! <laughs> welcome back! You won the gold do... from me. Cool. I just don't feel good, so I'm just like hanging you out. Game both, Marley. Yeah. Well, I can play Marley if he wants to just sit and watch what I do with him. <laughs> I'll, I'll intervene or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Backseat well. gamer. Yeah. All right. Uh, with a 10, yeah, you look forward and uh, you can see kind of the fuzzy through the water, like a kind of rippling. You can see the image of the, what you think is that huge ass statue uh, off in the distance. You also see dart in front of your vision something. Just like so, Taurus really is fast. with me. Does he see anything? Taurus, is uh, Taurus nice. can roll perception as well. Perception. We got a worse perception. Perception. Inception. We got a better roll. Yeah, he sees. He sees this uh, something rather large swim pretty fast by, and then dart back into the darkness below. Mm. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> He's like fucking big fish. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So I guess we're underwater. Can we Swim now, or do we Underwater. walk? You can swim if you'd like, yeah. But you can walk, swim. Like I don't even understand um, the, the level of I'd, technology. I'd say that goes. I'd say that you can only do that on the surface of the water. Okay. Once All you're right. underwater, you're swimming. All right. So yeah, I'm swimming. I, I reach up and do a hand for. Can we get some Donkey Kong swimming. water level music? Yes, please. No. Um. So yeah, I do a hand, and uh, I guess Taurus starts begins following. Uh, okay. You just. Uh, where are you swimming towards? Uh, wherever Dub was swimming. I, I'm saying I'm swimming towards Dub. Uh, he's walking on top of the... Oh, I thought he went oh, under. I thought he was uh, going to the dungeon. He's just marching, I'm guessing. Right, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm kind uh, of I like... Was, I meant to swim down to the bottom oh, you of the want statue. To swim. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah, that's what I assumed. Right, so yeah, you, you're, you're swimming. Uh, he's like, so we're following him. him. Probably about 50 feet. Know. I'm going to shimmy down the statue. All right, so you're pretty far. It seems like the statue's still pretty far away. Oh, then fuck um, it. But, just, I thought I was right next to it. it no, no. Um, if you had to guess, it's probably 80 or so feet away from you. Yeah, not um, worth it. I'm just going to... Dove walk. was probably, at, at that point, maybe 20, 30 feet ahead of you. Dove, can you make a perception check? Sure can. Show no. Show no. Very good. Uh, you being uh, further ahead, Lucy, oh fuck, man. <laughs> um, you uh, you also feel the rush of water of something passing in front of you, and you feel another. What is it? Um, and before you know it, you see these piscine-looking humanoids with spikes uh, kind of coming off of their their skin, scales, webbed hands. Uh, and like coral kind of built on their body. Um, and they were trying to ambush you, but they have failed. So I'd like you to roll initiative now. Can do. You want to give me a token to select before I roll initiative? Uh, no, we're going to do this kind of freestyle. Great. All right. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, let me bring up the track. Here's my favorite part of being decisive. I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm going here. I'm saying this. And then I roll a one on initiative. Yeah. Are we all rolling initiative? No. Uh, yes, you can. I'm 60 feet behind uh, Dub. Right. Does that mean... All right, so you guys I'm... just gonna have to deal with the shitty fucking camera, so... Cat uh, won't stop getting in the play. Can I do this without... Come here, get it. Ah! Damn it! I'm gonna do a thing. Just gonna I got go a 16, and I There's forgot to things. highlight myself. I can't. We don't have our There's token. nothing to highlight. Yeah, I know. I need I need tokens oh, right. to even add anything to the turn tracker. 
Uh, let's see. Brina, Dug, wow, Pete, your token looks great. Forest. Thanks. So there's yours, Brandon. Wait, who am I missing? I'm missing Tor. Thanks. Shep drew it. Tor's. All right. So. I like your token, Dylan. Hey, thanks, Kyle. Yeah. I like your token. Thanks, man. I owe you one. You're looking very, uh, very grim dark over there. Hey, I like your toe, Ken. Yeah, well, you know, two years have passed, and uh, I've yeah, seen some look, shit, man. You're looking like uh, some solid snake out of retirement fucking badass, dude. Yeah, and like I said, I got a scar on my face for seeing the fucking... Uh, oh, yeah. I can um, see it. Getting down to one health. Uh, so can you guys add your own numbers in there? Uh, can turn, I... Turn tracker? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, type. Can we edit it? Isn't there a way to edit it? I can just like write whatever. Yes, in the if point. you have token control, you can select your thing and change ah. the thing. But if you don't, I don't have. have to, I, I can't control my token. All right, I'll I'll do it all then. <laughs> <laughs> As Boom. always. Yes. Dylan, you got any chips? No, somebody ate them all. Do you know who? Yeah, I know who, but I will not name names. Hmm, that's a bummer. Not I can go chips right now. Whoa! Who ate, who ate what them? is that? Ah! Who ate all the chips? That thing's scary. These are. This is kind of what the creatures look like. But as you look at them, as they're kind of rolling around you, some of them do have two hands. One of them has, uh, like a like a, a a bunch of quills, like on a stump where its hand should be. And the other one has uh, tentacles instead. Like. Uh -huh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Initiative is going to be uh, proficiency plus dexterity. Nope, just dexterity. Just dexterity? Yep. Just dexterity. Unless you have the alert feet. Okay, great. So I have a 16. Yeah, I still no, can't I'm doing them. all of them. Oh, you time. Time. It's all so. me. I got it, baby boo. Take your time, boots. I know you got a lot on your plate. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Unless I got a 22. At a go. Uh, what happened to your oh, e, Don't forget to throw the lightning javelin. I'm reminding you. Thank you. Um, In the water? I thought. Oh, yeah, I don't think we that... all die. I thought. Uh, <laughs> you Elisa all get electrocuted. Has her own initiative. Am I yeah, we may, might as well not do that here. Not here, but uh, in this session. Don't forget yeah. to throw it. I should have throw it here. It. We don't have any perception of electricity and the fact that it will electrocute us in water. She pro Brina probably does. <laughs> I think Brina definitely well, does. She She's is pretty hyper intelligent, so. I She's bet. a scientist. Yeah, but electricity doesn't exist. <laughs> Sir Isaac, uh, Ben Franklin didn't get electrocuted with a kite on the key. Yeah, and the world really Franklin got shot. is an elf. And at the game. end of the flat world, it's just uh, ice. Nikolai Brina. Tesla doesn't exist in Faerun. Farron. It's pronounced Farron. It does. It's not. It's alright. Mia Farrow. Pronounce however you want because it's not real. That's yeah. not true. It's pronounced Farron because it has an accent mark. Alright, well. so Brina, you're probably about 60 feet behind Dove when you hear <laughs> um, and probably a bunch of other uh, kind of s s weird gargly sounds uh, and you see these uh, these humanoids kind of swarming around him in the water. What would you like to do? Um... Well, okay, wait. So I didn't get a 22 initiative. Uh, Alessa you said got, 22. Alessa got a 22. Alessa got a 22. All right. Just pretend you're Alessa. I forgot that I have to add a thing for her, too. Wait, where, where did your car go? Did we leave it up at the top of the... It's with the Adamant yeah. 10. Yeah. The scooter? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I we were going yeah. underwater, and I didn't want to sink my scooter. Yeah, but it'd be funny if it had sub mode and it... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> but it'd also kind of be Why an not? outrage. It'd be great if it had sub mode, but also had dom mode. I mean, All right. Dog mode? Uh, dom yes, mode. Yes, dog mode. Alessa is probably closer to Ricky, so I'd say Alessa is probably about 20 feet from the action currently. I okay. don't slap her butt on her way out, but I really want to. Can, I, can she move 20 feet, do you think, in the water? Does she? Her movement isn't mentioned, but I would assume her. She has a twenty-five or thirty. It's, it's probably it's 30. on there. It, it, it does say it on there. It's under. Oh, it is, it's thirty. Okay, so she would have. Uh, she could move uh, fifteen feet. She can move fifteen. It's just feet. aft in water. Is that the idea? 
Okay, yeah. so yeah, she's gonna... Unless move, you have a swim speed. She's gonna right. move up 15 feet, and then, uh, I guess, try to fire her light crossbow. Alright, so let's bring up those rules for underwater oh, combat. So, a ranged no, weapon... Water levels are so awful! She, like, ranged... turns around, raises her eyebrows, and kind of does, like, one of these, like, the... Yeah. the, the uh, thing. So, a ranged weapon attack automatically misses a target beyond the weapon's normal range. Uh, what is the range of a hand crossbow? 80, 30, 80 to 320. Okay, so she can definitely fire it, but even when they're in normal range, the attack has disadvantage unless the weapon is a crossbow, which it is, a net or a weapon that is thrown. So yeah, go ahead and roll against hey. uh, one of the creatures. All right. Um, which one? Coral arms? Would you like to? Arms, yeah, I was going to say tentacles. Tentacle guy, uh, spine guy, weird guy. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, or hand man. Normal guy. Can I choose hand man? Sure. Okay, great. King. Thirteen. Thirteen. That'll hit. It'll hit Handman. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Handman. She's like, blah, 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 <laughs> blah. But she's going to talk, so. Bug. She just spits up bubbles. Okay. But she's she's laughing. Um, Roll for damage. Uh, actually, can we do this? I'm just going to click the button instead. So, eight. It's 1d8 plus four. So hmm. eight damage. Eight damage. And sneak attack. Um, sneak attack, baby. And she it's engaged with something? Yep. Okay, and that's gonna be uh fuck. Another attack. It's just three D six, I think. Four, four D six. Oh yeah. Four. Oh my god. I what forgot a, how mighty we are. What a fucking character. Yeah, remember we are level <laughs> six, like we can't get fucked. That's 22 additional damage on top of the 8. <laughs> so, yeah, I take it yeah. back. She just fucking... She's, she's stone-faced underwater. Yeah, really so she takes the takes the the, the uh, crossbow and it fires like a, like a you know, um, underwater A magic crossbow. bullet that kills <laughs> just, fucking JFK. <laughs> flies through the water, and you can see it jam right into the side of the head of one of the, the fishmen, and there's just this loud, like... <laughs> and you can just see this kind of, like cloud of red kind of start moving out through the the movement of the I'm chum in the water. Is he not moving? Okay, can can she He's he's cutting, freaking out. Can she use cutting action mind. now to move again? Another 15 feet, yes. Okay, so she's going to use cutting action and walk up. Could she have used the move cutting action and then attacked? Mhm. Ah, oops. Didn't yeah, you can that. mix those. You can mix those up. Yeah, well she's going to move up now and she she walks up to him and takes out her cool Dagger, sword, short sword. Okay, are you still, are you hitting Mr. Hands? Well, no, she can't attack. Oh, okay. Very good. Mr. Hands. She Brenna. stares at Mr. Hands and fucking sticks out her tongue. Yeah. Brenna, yeah. are you still above ground or below She water? was. She was behind everybody probably within 30 feet, I would say. Okay. Are you above the water or below it? Below the water. Below the water. Okay. So you can move half your movement speed if you'd like. So that's... Women. Uh... 12 feet. Okay. <laughs> or you can go to the surface and walk the distance. <laughs> uh, no. Um, how far away is Handman? Handman from you is probably at least 60 feet away. 60 feet away. Uh, They're all about 60 feet away from you. Okay. Hang on a second. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, What's that? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. That's not good. Ambient. 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 You could do that, you could dash. Um, I'm going to move 15 feet, uh, or 12 feet, and then I'm going to uh, create a Swift Stuff po potion. Alright. Underwater, you're like... Yeah. I don't know what that does, because you've never you used open it. open it, and all the, all the potion, like, spills Swift Step gives... You just breathe it in really quick. Uh, Swift <laughs> Step gives, I believe... Um... Speed by 20 feet, so here it would increase speed by 10. 
Correct. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I actually I do that as a bonus action. Can I take my action to drink it? Yeah. Right. So I move, ah. take a bonus action to make it, and then an action to drink it. Correct. Cool. And then I will drink the potion. Quaff the potion. And I go. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. All right. And we got Rickolus. All right, here I am. All right, so about, you're about twenty feet from here's the All Star. All uh, right, so I'm gonna fucking from the Black Lagoon. Swim on up. Uh, I guess uh, uh, I will. I have thirty, so I'm gonna swim fifteen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my. Uh, so I'm how close am I to all? Uh, it's like the three of the lot of them. Yeah, more or less. You're about ten feet away from any given one. All right, so I'm going to do, perform my cunning action to swim up, um, and then I will nunchaku strike, um, spike, spikes, 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 okay. yeah, spikes, spikes. All right, let me turn off uh, spike advantage because I keep doing that, and I don't have any uh, negatives for doing melee attacks underwater. So. Yes, you do. When making a melee attack, a creature that doesn't have a swimming speed. Um, has disadvantage on their attack roll unless the weapon is a dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, or trident. Trident. Sorry. So it's, it, I just have disadvantage. You have a disadvantage. Imagine trying okay. to swing a nunchuck. Fucking perfect. Yeah, try imagine. Imagine trying to swing a nunchuck underwater. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it looks awesome. It would suck. This is shit. Yeah, I miss them both. Ten would miss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, by, by only one though. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Almost got him. No. Water people, huh? Yeah. Okay. And they, they're just like, move away from you. Like, yeah, I'm like, fuck these water dudes. Like eh? Fish dudes. Okay, fish. well, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, Bjorn. So how, I want to know how many of them are there and how, um, there are three of them, right? Yeah. Seems to be three swarming around. And uh, how close together are they? Are they like clustered? Yeah, pretty much. They're all roughly within five feet of each other around uh okay uh, no. are they like in a line from me no. not not all three of them no okay um you I'm could probably sorry. catch two on an in, on an angle all right um i'm just gonna cast frostbite okay. on the tentacle guy how oh, far away cool. are they uh, from you, uh... I was 60 feet behind Dub. Okay, so you're 60 feet from them. Okay, cool. I cast Frostbite. Alright, what's yeah. uh, gotta happen? On save DC 15. You'll fail. Hey! Uh, roll so 20 is, like, not, uh... Not responding, so... Get some real dice. 2d6 damage... And he has disadvantage on the next attack. Okay, four. Four cold damage. I can barely hear the music. I gotta turn this shit up. Yeah, there was music playing. That was on tentacles, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Jeez. Jeez. All right. Jeez. Um, as it goes through the water, it actually kind of creates like an ice spike. Yeah. Uh, freezing some of the the water. Well, they in chill out. He flips you off. Nice <laughs> tentacles. Oh, <Whoa>, here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like ah. Oh! It's like that. Uh. Which one's the middle one? I don't yeah. know, but it's definitely up. Uh, Taurus. All right, so Taurus fucking it was near me, so I believe he can swim. I don't know how his speed is twenty five, so he moves at. Let's say 15. 15. And, um... I guess he's gonna sprint, right? Sprint. He's gonna sprint. he's gonna sprint toward, um... Uh... Me, I guess. Can yeah, he do, do, like, a defense? Isn't that a thing? I don't see any of his notes. Uh, Are so he if he's defense? sprinting... Um, yeah, he can't do that? No, because he can take the action and dodge. He doesn't have the shield thing anymore. Like he oh, he doesn't? To. Okay. Then, yeah. Um, yeah, he's just gonna... He's gonna sprint. So, yeah, what the fuck? Why? Why are all my traits gone? Oh yeah, it fucked up. 
It's uh, they changed the character sheet, so it's a whole. Oh, Torres, I can't read your shit. There's an update, and I messed everything up. Okay. Sorry, I forgot that. that no, it's all right. That uh, yeah, so I'm like right in that shit with him. Uh, he, okay. I mean, with me. So he takes his action to sprint up. All right. Yeah. He rage swims, <laughs> and te- yeah. and you have water walking, which would push you up towards the surface more, because normally you'd be sinking like a rock with all your arm. Um, yeah, you're like, piece of shit. But you're I able to kind of, uh, it's like a buoyancy compensator. He's yeah. running. Well, he's like running and moving. Yeah. Good thing All you right, have Del- magic, right? Dove, you are surrounded by uh, hideous fish people. What would you like to do? I'm going to cast True Strike. All right. What's that do? I'm going to cast Brandon Strike. Brandon Strike. So I went and bought bagels. Oh, sorry, you guys. Like, yeah, hey, booge. Bagels, bagels. Yeah, bagels. isn't it called Brandon's Bagels or something? Well, there's a the, the town next to me is called is named Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> the town. So That's I went so to cool. Brandon Bagels. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so you extend your hand, point your finger at a target. Your magic grants you a brief insight in the target's defenses. On your next turn, you gain advantage on the first attack. Roll against the target, provided that the spell has that. Okay. Whoosh. You lock in. Uh, which one are you locking in on? Uh, the I think the tentacle one hasn't been attacked yet, right? The tentacle one just got hit by some ice. Uh, I haven't hit. Uh, uh, the, the, Mr. Hands is looking like he's bleeding out in the water and freaking out. Mr. I, I target tentacle man. Okay. Oh man. Gotcha. And we'll let. And I'm it. I'm engaged in. You know, I'm within five feet of him, right? Oh yeah, all three of them yeah. are got right up on you. Okay. But I'm engaged with them. So, You're kind of on the outside, yeah. We're all getting married to the tentacle people. Yeah. Uh, yeah right. oh, and That's they are up. They are tentacle up. wedding. So let's yeah. see. An Irish wedding over here. <laughs> Mr. Hands will attack uh, Dove with uh, his hands. With his uh, Mr. Hands. Yes. With that, so. That's Mr. Hands to you. That's going to yeah. hit with a 14. Uh, so you take... Four piercing damage from him as he just rakes across you with four his... Four hands damage. His fishy hands. <laughs> with his uh, four fingers, each one doing a damage. Four piercing. No, are they self logging? They are not. No. Oh. Um, yeah, they don't seem like they're fish people per se. They seem like they are they just have deformities. Like, And they're all kind of different. Like, they're Some of them have like these large pieces growing out of them. Some of them have like less webbing, more webbing. They're unique. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In their own special ways. What did uh, you say, Brandon? Are they what? Sahagan. Sahagan are like fish the, shark. They're yeah, actually like shark right. people. Um, Interesting. The Mr. Quills is going to put out his stump and <laughs> a bunch of quills fire out at you, Dove. Uh, oh, yeah, that's going to hit with a 17 on the oh, die. Hang on, i got to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, concentration, yeah. You're concentrating? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey. Got that one. Wow, plus four, my. So with the quills, you get stabbed with the quills for three poison damage. Uh, so you can roll again. Okay, you fail. Make it ag- no, you make it. I think. I thought it was ten, ten or ten or yeah, higher. Yeah, ten plus. Yeah. Unless it was ten uh, plus the damage you took. No, no, it's ten. It's either ten or half the damage. Half the damage. Oh, okay. So I'd need to get more. You'd need to get more than twenty damage for it to gotcha. start. Um, and I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Well, hey. <laughs> I can't believe you have plus right. four. What the fuck? So you uh, felt some sorcerers por- are proficient in Constitution saving throws. Uh, you felt some poison coursing through your veins when the quills hit you, but you're you're of sturdier stuff. I flex. Ugh. And finally, Mr. Tentacles is going to whap you with his tentacles. And with and he's disadvantage, gonna nat- he's going to get a natural one, and so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and they're uh, they all miss trying to grapple you. So, uh, Wonder Woman is next. Wonder Woman. You mean Wonder Robocop? Woman now standing yeah. in front of the hands man. Here's a question. Never mind. I'm not gonna ask that question. She's gonna slash at the hands man. Alright, out come the, the short swords. Well, uh maybe she should back up first for a sneaking attack elsewhere. She you're gonna get a sneak attack on any of them because they're all engaged with Dove. Yeah, they're engaged. Oh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations. But yeah, Kyle, I, I will take advice on sneak attacks and stuff, so please yeah, please do. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and finish out the hands, man. Hands, man. Ten's going to miss. 
Don't I have to roll with disadvantage? Because I'm. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, but so that one definitely misses. That's gonna miss. Yeah. So I'll roll the, the next attack. One, two. Uh -oh. oh no. Uh, yeah, it's gonna miss. All right. Uh, it seems like her speed is slowed by the the presence yeah, of some kind of liquid all around you. She's like, yeah. damn. Yeah. She, she doesn't say anything. Puts the, she puts the sword back in its sheath and takes out her fucking crossbow and is like, oh, like... Yeah. Blank, blank. Can she use her bonus action to reload that? Um, I don't... Uh, not a cunning action. A cunning action, yeah. Yeah. No. No? Okay. Not... I don't think so, no. Okay. So that's what she's going to do. Uh, Brena. Oh, man, I got All right. My I can now move 22 feet. Hell yeah. Whoa. Boot. What? Whoa. So Boot. Is he oh, over there? Oh, just... He's so fucking high, he needs... I know, he's like a, a potion, potion of clear sight. Pretty much. It doesn't work. Dylan! <laughs> I wish it worked that well. Uh, what are you doing, Brina? Uh, I'm gonna move up towards my scaly friends, my new scaly friends. I'm gonna move okay. 25 feet. Um, how far away would I be at 25 feet? Uh, you'd be right up on, let's say, uh, Quills. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stare Quills in the fucking face. <laughs> and I'm gonna fucking crack open a fucking acid bath for him. Okay. A fucking cold one on him? Yeah. <laughs> so, cold acid one. I was thinking this is good. All of your, all of your stuff's gonna be weird with underwater combat. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. Is I don't know that, so... Like a I, blast attack I, for every No, let's call this it's a ranged weapon attack. I imagine, I mean, like... It's, it's not. Oh, this oh, this is right. He, got a, he has a save, right? Yeah, he has a save against it. So like if I'm like right in front of him, I'm gonna take it and like and like press it into his body. <laughs> <laughs> you might suffer damage yourself if that's the case. Crack though. it over his head. Uh, yeah. quickly and deftly press it into his body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's the save he has to make? Uh, he's gonna have to make a motherfucking dexterity save. As supposed to a regular dexterity save. Versus yeah. uh, sixteen. So he'll fail and make a um, dexterity save of yourself. Damn. It, please. No! Ah! Roll damage for both of you. Right. Oh, no! Here it comes. Brain. Oh, don't worry. You always do low damage. My brain is... Eight. My little no. Whatever. Damage. He has more health than any of us other than the girl. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You're fucking Robocop. And, uh, yeah, don't this... worry. He's like... Rids off his first layer of armor. Was this, <laughs> was this on Quills? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Smash, um, and yeah, there, there's like, yeah, it goes smash, um, uh, and you can just see like bubbling, like almost like seltzer, just like up from where you uh, did it. And you can feel the the burn of the seltz. I, sh I shed a tear for the ocean and the, uh, acid encroaching on the ocean. <laughs> All right, uh, Rickolai. All right, I'm gonna try to hit. Um... Who do we got? Spikes. You can see. You can see around you. Quills fired his quills, and he just got he just got seltered. Yeah. Hands is still just freaking out and bleeding away in the water. I'm gonna reel back a little and zip water fast at. Water fast. Really water fast. Water fast. Which one are you attacking? Quills. Okay. Go for it with disadvantage. Please, God, please, no! Ah! One off, man. Yeah. If anyone has magic power, they can do. Can I use guidance on that? I don't think so. Uh, can you do it on attacks? No. Okay. Well, then no. <laughs> then the answer is no. Um. Okay. okay. Then I will be doing a um a punch, a cool punch. Okay. At um, bloody bloody guy. Okay, so this would not. This would be without disadvantage. All right, a punch. I uh, think a cool punch, yeah, not just a, cool, a punch. It's a it's a big punch. It's, it's a, a cool. Punch. I'm gonna perform a big punch on this guy. Do right. a big punch. Yeah. Big punch. Yes, that does it. And I'm gonna fucking. 
Uh, it's 1d4 plus something, plus my proficiency. Dexterity plus... Dex. Yeah, just plus your dex. I think. Yeah. Right. And this was on hand? Yeah. Okay. You punch right where the, uh, the crossbow bolt had gotten in there, and you just crush his head inwards <laughs> into the water, yeah. and he just goes limp and starts floating to the top. Yeah, I kind of push him away. Yeah. yeah fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Haynes. Yeah, I go, and a huge long bubble goes wobbling out, and then I release it. And uh, it pops up to the surface and goes, all right! <laughs> sure. uh, that's exactly um, what happens. Bjorn. Uh, my frostbite button is still not working, so Excellent. DC 15 con save. He'll fail. Fail? Fuck yeah. Boom. Five oh, damage gold today. damage. On which one? On tentacles. 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 Alright. Alright, another spear of ice. Moves and I'll use my bonus right. action to say to Dub, uh, I'll wag Bruh. my finger and say, that's why you don't run off ahead. And it comes out. <laughs> and they all pop at the surface and no one gets to say the great word. <laughs> yeah. All right, Taurus. Taurus fucking Taurus. turns to tentacles and attacks tentacles. I attack the tentacle. Okay. Um, so. Let me just. Sorry, he's got like so many fucking things open now. Okay, here, here we go. Um, Frost Brand um, attacks like this. He's on disadvantage. He's not on disadvantage. And now he is. No, he doesn't have disadvantage if he's attacking in melee. Oh, oh okay. no, he does. It's he a, does any does melee him. weapon attack. All right, so he does that. Much Could have critted. He would. He does hit. He crits. He crits. Oh, does he? Nineteen <laughs> with a twenty-five. No, <laughs> okay. He got, <laughs> oh, got a seventeen on that one. Yeah, he got a nineteen on one though. So, right. uh, how does crit work for uh, Robocops <laughs> like this? He didn't get a crit. He rolled crit. It's disadvantage. Like disadvantage. He, he, he has disadvantage on melee attacks. Ah, yes. This is your Very good point. It doesn't. Yes. It doesn't. yes. All right. Well, so I'm gonna roll for damage on this one. Ready, Rue. Uh, how do I do that? Just click frostbite. Just, just, just click frostbite. Yep. yep. All right. Okay. So he takes that, and doesn't he attack twice? Isn't that like a thing? Yep. Yeah. Thirteen. Frost the bottle. And he'll hit again. Fuck yeah, Taurus. Fuck yeah! Holy shit! Damage. Twenty damage. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to live? Yeah. Uh, hey. He makes. He cuts. Uh, divides it into four sections, essentially <laughs> tentacles, and then he just turns into a cloud of, of yeah. murky black blood. Yeah. Watch out for that chum. It's gonna. Taurus is dark. laughing, and he's yeah. slowly <laughs> sinking as he laughs. All right, Dov. So the tentacle guy is dead? Yes, he got yeah. turned into session. Oh, I forgot you were aimed at him. Yeah, it that's fine. Uh, I'm going to... What's that, Dylan? Just Quill's guy is left? Quill's guy remains. Quill's guy. Quill's guy. Quill's guy. Quill's guy. Um, Quill's guy. I guess I'm just going to firebolt Quill's guy. Okay. Uh, no, I'm going to I'm gonna hit him with my quarterstaff. Okay. Quarterstaff because bolt. fire oh, damage does nothing what? underwater. A quarterstaff. Fuck yeah. First half will it's... miss. What a shock. What a shock. Cool though. Cool staff. Alright, Quills, um, looking at the dire situation around him, not realizing that there were so many uh, <laughs> people, uh, is going to disengage and try to, is gonna start making a run for it. Uh, he's Eat gonna him. swim he's gonna like dodge and then uh, start moving uh, downwards. Towards the, uh, the t- statue. Um, would would um, Super Lady like to do anything? Yeah, she can take a game. shot with a goddamn crossbow. All right, go for it. All right. Doesn't even need a fucking Robocop. What's that? She would not get. Uh, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, doesn't need disadvantage. Make sure she's uh, in no. range. Yeah, have uh, she's in crossbow. range and she can fire normally because it's a crossbow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Oh no! Yeah, she'll hit, but she does oh, not get to 
<laughs> okay, so that's gonna be, uh, what is it, 1d8 plus 4? Probably like fucking 5d20 damage. Yeah. Uh, 1d8 so plus yeah. 4. It's gonna be 8 damage. Alright. Uh, yep, slams into the back of this creature. She's also gonna move towards him and use cutting action to move towards him twice. Okay. Oh, move so she'll again. move uh, 30 feet. Uh, she'll move 30? Oh. Yeah, total. Uh, so she'll close distance with him and be right up on him. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what was I trying Keep to him do? slow because he now he has to disengage again. Right. Uh, Brina. Okay, how far away am I from those motherfuckers? Uh, I'd probably say another 60 feet at this point. Another 60 feet? Okay, at this point. Or actually, point. no, you were, were you, you were pretty much, you were right up on them. Uh, so it would be 30 feet for you. 30 feet for me? Okay, yep. I can only move 22 feet. Um, <laughs> little gnome, <laughs> little gnome oh, legs. You got 45 foot. That's like almost as fast as me. Uh, yeah, well, I'm under the effects of a potion. Under the lake. Under the lake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna Things move. are better when Nagush is better. Under the lake. Nagush. I'm gonna move 22 Nagush. feet, and I think I'm going to take out my. Um, yeah, sure. I'm gonna take out my crossbow because I have a little crossbow. Whoa! I have a light crossbow. Right. crossbow? I'm gonna be, crossbow. If I can pull that out of my coat. Is it like cute and smaller than a normal crossbow? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a Whoa. very big, tiny. I want a cute crossbow. It's like a toy crossbow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, attack is gonna be dexterity plus nothing, right? Dexterity plus proficiency. Yeah. But do am I? I'm not sure. If, I don't think I'm proficient in it. Are you not? It's a simple it's... weapon. Well, I mean, you are great at everything, so we can assume. <laughs> are artificers proficient in crossbows? I get one. Is that a martial weapon? That would make me think that they probably um, are. Yeah. Proficient is simple weapons. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah Pull so, trigger, arrow comes out. So I have yeah. proficiency <laughs> and dexterity. Yes. To attack. Okay. Cool. Great. Correct the move now. Ooh, yes! Hey! We're Mark fucking loading load this. What Let's... kind of um? What kind of crossbow are they? It's a light it? crossbow. A light crossbow. I'm also looking at that. So one d eight. Crossbow light. Yep. Yeah, one. So it'd be one d eight plus your dexterity. Okay. So you don't add dex to damage on ranged weapons. I believe you are do. You, sure? you only add strength to thrown weapons. We have always we have always crossbow. added strength to bows. I'm you add strength to thrown age. weapons, and you add strength to melee weapons, but I don't think that ranged, non-thrown weapons get anything added to their damage, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure you add dex. My longbow, I got dexterity. Yeah, we definitely constantly played with that, so... Let's add dex for now. I'll look it up. Yeah. Okay. Can we change everything? Whatever we've done so far. So... Kill the fish man. Three, this plus two. Oh, no! So, three damage. Three. All right. Didn't matter much anyway. <laughs> all right. Uh, all righty. Yeah. It does sink into his uh, arm, though, and there's more blood kind of crawling out. Ricky. All right. So About because 30, uh, 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 girl can catch to him, I can uh, because I have speed 30. I move two and I... Nanchaku attack him! Yay! Nanchaku disadvantage attack. The ultimate disadvantage attack. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. Yes. It don't matter. It don't matter when you're me. It doesn't Ten. matter when you're Ricky Ten. Lightning. And right. I will punch him! Uh, no need. You crack him uh, with the nunchuck right in the chest. Beating a uh, dead fish man with that. And he just c coughs up a shit ton of blood and also starts floating away to the top. But anyway, it sounds like uh, really doing a spin kick on his body. Yeah, he, to push him out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I do cast add Frostbite mod. on his dead body. You do add dex. Yep. You add whatever cool. ability modifier used for the attack roll, as long as you're awesome. attacking with a weapon. Cool. Good to know. Well. Very cool. Great. I killed the fish. You killed a couple of fish, yeah. Uh, so as they're kind of floating too. around, uh, you guys are just now kind of all swimming mm. through gore. 
uh, cl slow moving clouds of blood and guts. I, uh, I, I run away from the what uh, blood because I know that sharks are attracted to blood in the water. Sure. With I point my... down toward the castle or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah I start moving it, towards it, and the... as I do, oh sorry, go ahead, Dylan. Oh, uh, I was gonna say just like where is the entrance to this? Uh, can I see anything like an entrance? Uh, so everyone can roll perception now that you've all moved closer to it, and uh, and uh, maybe might have a little better view. So we got a fifteen, a five, a Fuck nine, yeah. roll. Two, a twenty. So Brina, D Brina and Dub def def definitely definitely see this. Um, you see the whole. Statue at this point. It seems also, Taurus got a twenty. So. Oh, well, Taurus uses too. Um, <laughs> you see uh, the statue uh, in its full in its enormity, and it seems to go. It's at least fifty feet tall, uh, and the top of it pierces out through the through the the break in the the water, the the surface. That's the word I was looking for. Um, but where the feet are, like I said, it comes down into the into like a roof that's just covered with um, silt and moss, and then it looks like what the rest of a building would be goes down, but the rest of that building is in the silt of the lake. Um, if that makes sense, it's almost like the, this building stood here, and just over time, accumulation. Like yeah, it's basically half sense. buried in, in the silt. Um, so from where you're at right now, I'd say you're. 60 feet from the statue, um, there's no clear evidence of um, an entrance. Okay, um, I'm going to move towards it, and as I'm doing that, I'm going to also brew up a healing draft and suck it down. Okay. Can you do that underwater? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I create a corked potion, and then right. yeah, you I, got your like, magic bag. I like, like suck the potion out into my mouth. Right, it's artificer. I'm gonna say blah, 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 and hold my finger up towards Brina uh, and ask for one of those too. <laughs> okay, but she can't understand. Um, um, I'm gonna take a quick piss so you guys can decide what you would like. I'll to... also take a quick piss. We're gonna take a slow piss. <laughs> Damn, that's a big ass. That's a good heal for me. Pretty big. Pretty big for me. How much do you heal with a healing draft? 3d8? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dylan, please, stop scaring me. Why are you so muscular? I draft up a, another one uh, and hand it to you. Dylan, you can take it and roll 3d8 to eat it. Dylan just flexed in my room and it was, like, horrific. How hard did he flex? Were the muscles too, Three, it, too big? It's so graphic. His neck, like, they, like, exploded. spit out beads of sweat. Like, I mean, you know, sparkles like blew off him. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that was fun. That was the first underwater combat I've ever done. That was really interesting. Um, I was really nervous. It was going to be like playing Monster Hunter underwater, and it was, <laughs> was it? and yeah. it kind of was because of all the disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. So, what would you guys like to do? Just go to the bottom. Go to the go bottom of the water. The bottom of the lake. Right. Dub. What's up? Bottom of the water. You want to go to the bottom? All right, yeah. Then I'll just. Like, I yeah, can't do anything about a bunch of sand. I was hoping there'd be an entrance, but. Well, maybe, maybe there is. We're gonna go around the edge. We're gonna knock on hey, hey, the wall. <laughs> There's no way through the sand with that attitude. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Give it a good knock, sand goes away magically. Or something. All right. So you want to swim more towards the bottom of the lake? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ricky, roll a play perception or investigation check. Really Whatever high is higher check. for you. Ah! Oh, do you have a higher investigation? Uh, I have no. I have a very high perception. I have a plus three perception, but I I have really bad. Everything. Yeah, um, Ricky, you don't uh, know much about lakes or temples or <laughs> being underwater. Not doing it for me. Yeah. All right. Kind of um, looking in vain. Yeah, I uh, I'm for point to, to the AFK. temple. You are what? I point to the I'm... temple and say the, the temple. You do notice that the... It looks like a dwarven architecture. Uh, like the stonework of the statue itself is... Um, 
it looks like a, a dwarven statue. Like it, it's carved. Tell us something roughly. about secret cool doors and secret dwarven statues. <laughs> Uh, have him, uh, you can have him make a perception check. Cool. Ah! Ooh. He does. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you know? Well, he, he looks down at the, at the roof and stuff, and he's like, no, but then he says, or he doesn't say, he points, like, straight down towards, uh, the ground, um, and you can see that, um, there seems to be a small hole in the ground near the roof. Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, I guess uh, I follow. We okay. follow him. I'll wait till everyone gets back because we're all. I think we're all kind of scattered to the winds at this moment. Yeah, as it is. I hear like Dylan like having, a, telling a story. <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> all right, I guess I'm gonna pee because that's what everyone's doing. But let them know what uh, Taurus has done. Okay. Yeah, everybody. totally. Yeah, Taurus was checking out the hey guys! Uh, the temple. Ah. Um. He didn't see anything on the temple to ne- to negotiate an entrance, but he did notice a, a small hole in the ground near the roof. A hole in the ground? I'm kind of small hole. I'm an expert on those. Is it sure? I mean, Taurus is. I mean, that's probably why he saw it. <laughs> that's true. He is. Old. Taurus tastes the hole. <laughs> he tastes. Please. Yeah. You want to taste it? It tastes like water and silt. <laughs> You're at the mm. bottom of a lake. Yeah, but do I know where the silt the silt flavor comes from? You know, I, I'm a rock taster. I've done this yeah, many times. I mean, the silt. you do taste tra- traces of adamantine in the silt. Mm. Um, if you, if you had to guess, it's, it's this a very is most, rich, deep flavor, like a yes, it's a, a really cocoa. an an like umami of minerals. Mm. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, because I mean, you you've put together probably by this point that this is an adamantine mine or was an adamantine mine, uh, and the runoff from the walls is probably. Um, at least semi-rich with adamantite deposits, uh, so it would it would uh, it would logic would dictate uh, that the silt of a lake in an adamantine mine would have adamantine in it. Or maybe we're just playing a fantasy game. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Did you taste the hole? He did. What did it taste like? Adamantine. Hole, hole flavored. And and mud. <laughs> can I enter the hole? You can. I'm waiting for everyone to be uh, uh, is Pete, present. No, is Pete here? Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. There's, there's, there's his forehead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah. Uh... Brandon knows, so he can. I'm here. Oh yeah. Oh, you Brandon's are. harassing me. Oh, okay. I didn't know anything you were there. Okay, so you all want to make your way towards the uh, yeah. hole that Taurus is pointing. The hole. The hole. All right. Um, it seems you get down to the bottom of it, and you get within uh, distance that it's close enough to see. Uh, it's a small hole, but probably big enough for a humanoid, a normal humanoid, to fit through. Um, it looks like it does kind of curl away from you kind of at a curves like a tunnel of some sort and there's just bits of seaweed just kind of floating Do in that, there. is it going to stay in Taurus can fit yeah. alright yeah then um, Taurus climbs in and fucking beckons all of us alright he pats all right. the hole and he's like good fucking rock work here yeah so it is not rock it's just it's there's some rock actually it would be slightly rock uh, but there is like build up on it and like I said there's just you're passing through like seaweed uh, basically. Um, oh, I take a bite out of the seaweed. Ew. All right, it's gross. Uh, and it's, uh, <laughs> you lose half. It's not, it's not fresh in any way. Um, oh, no. It is, it's been down here for a long time in mostly unchanging water. <laughs> um, it's not like, you know, ocean seaweed. You're not enjoying it. not like sashimi seaweed. No, this is not, this is not a <laughs> sushi grade seaweed. All right. Uh, so you continue swimming, 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 and Taurus, who would be in front. Um, you notice that um, you continue to swim uh, down this tunnel, and you get the sense that the tunnel is leveling out. And then you swim a little bit further, and you feel you notice that the tunnel is actually curling upwards. Um, and the tunnel ends and deposits you into what seems like a large flooded room. 
And you, and Taurus would definitely notice that the walls are made out of like a dwarf, a dwarven stone covered in thick green algae. Um, and like you can see that stone. they're uh, dwarven stone worked. Work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it cool. is it's co it's covered once again in this algae and, and yeah. seaweed. Um, so it, you it, can it see, kind of tops off, so we can actually stick our heads out of the water. Well, he see you, he like looks up, and you can see yeah. that there is a surface to the water about ten feet up, uh, and he can see light coming somewhere uh, up above the surface level. Level like it's kind of refracting uh, in the uh, off the surface about ten feet above you. All right. Um, but you're in this big at you're in this big flooded room essentially. Uh, can can we see how like far we are to the edges of the? I think the, of the room? Key the yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, We're kind of in the center, I would assume, or something. No, you're, you're on one of the walls. Um, and uh, make a perception check, Ricky. Right, so this is... Me. 20. Woo, boy! Yeah, you, wow. see the, you see the shit out of this room. Yeah. Um, immediately looking around, you notice that there are a number of different skeletons just floating in the wall. Mm -hmm. Um, All right, I pull one down toward us and kind of jiggle it. Um, yeah, uh, like the leg breaks off yeah. in the water. Um, you see some stone tables and chairs uh, sitting at the bottom. They're covered in algae also. Um, with your amazing perception check, you notice that underneath one of the tables, there's a large iron uh, box uh, mm. with what seems to be a rusted lock, and it is also covered in this thick algae. All right, so I fucking zoom down. Uh, if I can uh, give a finger point to um, Oressa, Odessa, Odessa, Alessa, 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 and uh, I, job. but I um, head to the box. What are we looking at? This box. It's a big, excuse me, iron lock box, um, and uh, this it has a big padlock on it, but it's completely rusted. It would be pointless to try to pick it. Yeah. There's so, no mechanism um, left in it. Smash yeah, it. I'm just going to strike it with the butt of my nunchuck. Okay, make a uh, strength check. A strength. Strong, Ricky. Or you can make you can make an attack roll, actually. Attack roll. Attack. Nunchuck attack! Oh yeah! Oh you... Oh yeah! It smashes into it. Roll uh, damage. Smash that lock. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Are uh, you taking? <laughs> Um, you know, all the muted sounds underneath here, and it, yeah. it breaks off uh, pretty easily. Um, it also kind of caves in a bit of the, the top of the box as well. Um, yeah, you pull it open, um, and you can see there's a pile of gold, um, probably about a little more than 200 uh, old dwarven coin in there. All right, uh, I a... just, uh, um, I make a note, I wave to everyone, I point... Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone see money. <laughs> money, money, money. I just uh, I, I put it in whatever bag I have right now. Yeah, I make sure everyone knows that there's money. You also see um, uh, uh, amongst the money, uh, you see a uh, a war pick. Um, strangely, a war unlike pick? E unlike a war pick. Oh my oh. god! Um, Is strangely, it Tankard's war pick? Tankard's um, strangely, war unlike any the money and the box and everything else, it's not co it's not rusted and it's not covered in algae. Mm. What's a war pick? A war pick is like um, it's like a <laughs> it's like a miner's pick, but made for combat. Made for bashing in skulls. So do we each right. get forty gold? Right now, wow. it'd be kind of hard to start divvying it up underwater. Yeah. But... I have it. I I'm let everyone know that it's there, and I fucking put it in a big bag. And uh, I guess so. I'm going to quietly sub uh, come up a little bit from the water. I guess I don't have to go, <gasps> but yeah. I can kind of just raise my head a little bit from yeah, you the can water. Do a, you can do a fucking apocalypse now. Baby you know? seal. <laughs> yeah. Um, this yeah, is well, the end. The horror. I watched a snail only, crawl. Ricky. I watched a snail crawl across the razor's edge. Mm -hmm. Little inoculated arms. Um, the Ricky. The oh. Ricky. Yeah, you can the roll snail. The lightning. The no. Lightning. Uh, very nice. I did not. Very Wait good. Very I good. I did not. Okay, so you poke your head up uh, okay. above the water line. Um, and, uh, whoa, what's going Thank on? Thank you. Oh, you had to heal. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? what? Is there some other? Is someone else? <laughs> Damn it, my yeah. uh, Dylan, mark that you the DM? one, and you can't, yeah, you can't eat another one until 
the to your next long rest. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kyle, you can um, you peer up and you notice that the the wall the there's a roof to this room, um, and there's a small broken piece of the floor. Uh, well, small part, broken piece of the ceiling, uh, where there is some kind of candlelight kind of coming through and kind of playing. Against Wait, did you take the, the war pick? Um, yeah. Okay. Playing against the water. Um, but that's above us, uh, like another yeah. floor above us. So it's probably only like two feet above the oh, surface okay. of the water. So like this room's pro- this room's probably like twelve feet tall. Mm-hmm. Uh, the water ends at about ten feet, and then there's about yeah. there's two, another floor then, above. It's, us. So it's yeah, like a yeah. flooded yeah. attic almost. Right, right. Kind of, um, all right. And uh, you, oh, the twenty. Yeah, we'll let that twenty-four ride in terms of perception. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can hear chanting in here as well. I start chanting Lagoosh. <laughs> yeah. You can't hear it. Not below the water. You're uh, underwater. Oh, no. All right. So that, uh, is it uh, just from uh, casually kind of like seeing it looks like uh, the only way up is that hole? Holes. Uh, it looks like at least on this ceiling, yeah. All right. So I am... Um, I, I submerge and I, uh, I do like everyone come up, but I'm like, I do a shush, come up, but be quiet, but come up. <laughs> I go up. Uh, okay. Yeah. If you want to do Take that my stealthily, elf head you can above the water. The elf. I will do it stealthily. Okay. I do the apocalypse now. Woo! Oh. You burst up with your bat wings like. Ah! I fucking rise out of the water like a vampire. <laughs> but still not as vampiric as I did. <laughs> I came up like a fucking Belmont, like floating. Well, oh, a <laughs> Belmont. <laughs> it's hard to beat the Belmont. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, you two both come up out of the water. Um... Brina accidentally coughs and sputters, and she's like, "All right, I can breathe water. I didn't know to do that." Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't need that. And yeah, you, you also can hear the no, 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 no. So there's like a hole in the ceiling where this is coming from. Yeah. Okay. It seems like it's coming from above you. So how like, uh, how high is the cavern? The room you're in right now. Yeah. It seems. Yeah, we in just. Total- it seems in total that the room would be 12 feet. The water goes up to about 10 feet, and there's about two feet of headroom to where yeah. the ceiling is, where the hole is. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I turn, and I'm like, so we got some weird chant that sends magic. Yeah. I, uh, I do like the, the seals' um, hand signals to Ricky to uh, go investigate up there. And I'm like, I don't know that one. All I know is, like, being my. And then I do the L signal. And I'm like, I'm not a loser. You're a loser. I whisper in Elvish to uh, to him to let's go investigate. Him. And I'm like, oh yeah, I speak Elvish. And I fucking, um, I guess I like just with my wiggly fingers climb up over the edge and lift sure. myself over. Yep. And we're gonna let the you had like a thing, yeah. Um, for stealth. Okay. Yeah. We roll. Uh, we'll let that ride. All right. Um, and uh, it's a little too happy. <laughs> oh, um, as I'm leaving, I fucking hand the pick to Brina. Okay. Um, like, I, I take it. I'm like, oh my god, and I take it and I, <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I put it in my, I put it in my backpack. Brina. Okay. And then it disappears into the abyss. Yeah. Yeah. Where all the water is going to. Yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> let's let's not even get down that fucking. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. 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 Flooded. Yeah. He, she opens um, her pet bag, the, the water goes at an inch, and then a bunch of skeletons. <laughs> the whole lake just goes. Yeah. Yeah. Rain water. Just slightly, though. Okay. So, so yeah, uh, me and Ricky, Ricky. Uh, climb up there like SEALs Team 6. Well, Ricky, Ricky wanted to kind of do a little fingery motion yeah, here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to wiggle him up. But he just wants to, just to take him. climb up my back. Like a so you, 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 put your, you put your eyes just kind of above the, the, um, the internet. Thing the floor, 
Um, and up through the floor, uh, you can see the chapel of this temple. Um, dwarven stonework covers the floors and walls. Huge stone pews all turn towards an ivory pulpit. Um, and all around are reliefs of Morden carved into the walls. Uh, there are also a number of, uh, a number of statues to the god. Uh, in front of the pulpit are three of the slimy fish-like humanoids that you fought outside. And they're bowing and just rocking back and forth while well, chanting. Nagush, Nagush. Um, a few moments pass before the large stone doors from behind the pulpit fly open with a crash. Emerging from the door is a floating mass of purple, scaly flesh. A single, massive green eye dots the center of oh this Oh my god! And below it, a large, toothy maw. And is from it, the top, is it beholding anything while it From the top of out? this floating yeah. mass are a number of eye stalks no protruding out. Oh, no! The creature fixes its gaze on one of the fish people. What wonderful treasures have you brought for Lord Naga? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bud! And the, uh, the fish man <laughs> drops a bunch of, like, crap that he found from the lake. And the eyes kind of scan it all and says, What is this junk? This junk? <laughs> Nagush is displeased. <laughs> and a thick black beam of energy fires from one of the eye socks. And you just hear, oh. And it just burns right through the fishman <laughs> and it scatters into dust. You probably get some of the dust in your face. Oh, oh my God. God. The creature oh. turns around and heads back through the door of the pulpit. And one of the eyes turns around and grabs the door with some kind of telekinesis beam and <laughs> closes it shut. And the other two fishmen are just kind of like looking at each other and rocking back and forth. So. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. Boom. So is, it, is, it safe to say that the, is it safe to say that the fishmen are beholden to Lagouche? They might be a little beholden to him, yeah. Oh my god. god. No. Boots. <laughs> I, uh, me, I kind of like slowly release my fingers and slide back down and I give him an okay so <laughs> everything's fine <laughs> I do like a hand on my head and then I give a thumbs oh up and I'm God. like Boom. he's on our team <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like <sighs> wait I'm whispering who's on our team so the rest of you that were above the water heard all of that. You didn't yeah. see it, but you heard it. You guys it. saw it. You guys Including, it. like, the sound of a fucking energy beam. Yeah, no. my face is covered in, like, a fucking <laughs> dust. And yeah. I'm like, it's fine. Your face is all sooty. Yeah, like, it's just a giant monster with like, why do you Why do you smell like burnt flesh, Ricky? Oh, I don't know. It's what Nagush did. So it's, yeah. I'm like, you guys ever heard of Nagush? Let me tell you about Nagu. Let me tell you about Nagu. <laughs> Let me tell you about my buddy Nagi. What did it? What did it look like? It had many eyes. It was uh, eyes. They all fuck. <laughs> no, like <laughs> you, I was like, you remember Sumgar? No, you don't. Well, okay. Let me tell you about a friend I had named Sumgar. <laughs> and I, I, I relate Boris the story. Knows. And um, a lot of embellishments and a lot of uh, very gesticularly. What is? It. What does Taurus think about all this? He's like, because he's he remembers some guy. Yeah, he's like, oh fuck, a beholder, <laughs> a Chinese beholder. Yeah, he's got slanted eye stalks or what? Hey, Did the eye stalks piss on the wall? <laughs> In a way. Yeah, it did. It was did piss through a man. He's muted. Hmm. He's so um, out. uh, I yeah, no, he, he uh, he he agrees. Oh it my is god. Good. What are we gonna do, guys? I'm like, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna avoid fucking Nagu. Or we're gonna give him something cool. And he won't shoot that laser at you. I'm oh. like, what do, I, what do you guys got? What's your coolest thing you own? I, the coolest thing I own? I yeah. reach I have zero my pack magic. and pull out the pickaxe. I'm like, here you go. I'm like, no, not the cool thing. No, give him something less cool. You won't know. Yeah, I don't know. I could give him my ring of animal influence. I think about my pocket. I'm like, I don't have anything. 
I don't have anything for him. Yes, you so. do, Ricky. I don't have anything. <laughs> yes, you do, Ricky. Well, here's the thing. Let's do what we Let can. Let me roll avoid. inside on that, Boots. No, about <laughs> what? Let me roll inside on Ricky, claiming he has nothing. Oh, I mean, you know, he has amazing nunchucks that he flaunts around. Yeah, but I also have a well, yeah, a golden get... frog with ruby eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. he has a golden frog with ruby eyes. With ruby eyes. With ruby eyes. A mundane. I, uh, frog. I grab his backpack <laughs> and I start rummaging around looking for the frog. Uh, so you yeah. you don't know if if Nagush wants these things. Here's the thing. Let's avoid him. Sounds like he's been running this temple for a little bit. Let's just do our best to not get. I say he's not from this world. He must die. <laughs> I'm like, I do like that. He's nice. an abomination. He is not natural. I don't know. By the way, since Who's you kind of seen right, the whole me, right? out, this is kind of for perspective what you're dealing with here. Yeah. It's the water, the church, the whole classic. Hole. Yeah. Good legs. You got there. Thanks. You know, I say maybe we can recruit those uh, those fish guys. They, I know they hate Lagoosh. Let's no, try. Sounds like they love them. It, they at least revere him. Yeah. yeah, good point. Yeah, but they they probably are afraid of him, so we can use that to our advantage. By the way, where are you guys having this conversation? In the floorboards. In the water. Okay, kind of cut. Cuddled water. in the corner. Yeah, I know how to swim. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, all right, so should we... Uh, from remembering what the room looks like, is there a way to get in with that? Can we like, go get in that room without them seeing us? How, are they like on the side of the room? Probably so the whole, the whole the where, you, um, where you were looking through was kind of in the back of the church. So it was behind some of the pews. It was behind all the pews. And then the pulpit was... And, and how many doors? Okay. Were I mean, Ricky could definitely get in there without attracting their attention. Uh, you saw the doors leading behind the pulpit. And that's... Okay. You saw windows uh, that were just silt on the outside. Oh, okay. um, and I would say, yeah, you probably looked back real quick. There is a door... There was a door behind you, which you'd guess would probably be the entrance, but if you had to guess, it's probably covered. It's probably dirt well, behind that door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, I say, like, look, let's get out of the fucking water. I'm getting pruny, and let's be really quiet. How, how far away is the pulpit from the hole? I tell you exactly how far that is. I will tell you exactly. How much was it? Uh, well, let me... Let's not forget that all we're looking for here is a few pieces of paper, and then we can get out. Exactly. No need to upset Nagush. Don't need to even see him if we don't want him. Oh, actually, British hold on. The papers I'll, I'll, are uh, to, uh, behind the pulpit. Let's do a quick thing here. What, did, did there... she say that the papers were behind the pulpit? Is that a thing? It's like you didn't say about... anywhere where they okay. were. I also, said in the, um, in the temple. Well, do, I, do I still have my locate object, and does it tell me where it is? I don't know. Uh, how long does that last for? Um, let me... And is it concentrate? Also, um, what time are we ending? Uh, Soon. Never. Never. Oh, it's only ten minutes, so no. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Whoa, we're in there. So this is this is what you saw. You should uh, do it again, Bjorn. You're so you came up right around here, Ricky. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So the door directly Door's behind, behind that. That's where he came out of. So yeah. No no he, the, he, he came Ricky, out behind he, here. Okay. This yeah. is where you'd think the entrance probably was? Yeah. So that is a non-usable door. If you had to guess. Yeah. Unless it opens up into the actual and plane or something. The windows. Do they, do hey, I that'd be pleasant. Yeah. What'd you say, <coughs> Dylan? <coughs> is there any light coming out of the windows? Or? No, it is caked with... It's underground. Uh, but okay. there is, uh, like, from here and from here, there are small uh, torches kind of burning. Were burning. You're not looking at it right. now. You're... This is what Ricky saw. Yeah. And the fishmen are like right here. Uh, they're like around here. Okay. Around there and like around there. Uh. Okay. I say we should try to talk to the fishmen to uh, recruit them to our side because I know they don't. They don't actually like Lagoosh. It's like they're I mean, really you just say serving him out of fear. That. But maybe they're fucking crazy mutants. 
You don't end up on the underwater castle because you're well-tempered. But you saw how afraid they were. All right. Yeah, go for it, man. Whoa. Whoa, what? Dylan. Well, now I mean, you was want that me well? to go for it alone? No, I'll, I'll be behind you, but I'll be in a Mr. safe position. Mr. Charisma you. over here is uh, not wanting to talk to anybody? Not the mutants. They're mutants. I talk to the beautifuls. I say, look, they may be mutants, but they're still living thing underneath. Oh, uh, okay. Every <laughs> living... I fucking climb out. Hold on. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Every living thing has fear and has wants and needs. I say, well, baby. They need to get disintegrated. That's what they Look, need. they're afraid of Lagouche. You saw that. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Do Good you luck. suggest that we use them to try to fight against Lagouche? Yes, definitely. I would say our best bet is to just avoid Lagouche, look for these things, and get out. Well, it's not, not mean, douche, by the way. It's we're a not. pretty small room. I mean, you saw what was up there. Yeah, we're sneaky. We're sneaky, Gru. <laughs> uh, right. Can't someone just cast, like, locate object and figure out where it is? Yeah, let's do that. Instead of... Yeah, I could, but the... why would I... I mean, you know, the door. this door is caved in. You know where it's going to be. I mean, I don't know. There's many rooms in this thing. Could be in here. Could be in the next room. Could be in another room. Could be in where? This door's caved in. There's only There's one another door. door over here where Nagush came through. Yeah, it's obviously in there. We're gonna have to go through Nagush. Obviously. Lagoosh to get there. Why? You sound like you're playing a video game and you know all the rules. Well, look, it's not in here. This door's caved in. There's only one other way to go, and that's I mean, it where could we be saw a room. That's not a room, dude. That's an altar. Could be in on the altar. It could be. In every altar, so there's go, another room. Well, let's go up there and look. Say all right. Let's sure. let's press. Let's can I press can I still use my uh, am I still stealth? Um, I mean, you can be as stealthy as you want. What do I know about beholders? And also, oh. I ask everybody else, what do you know about beholders? Let's <laughs> all roll intelligence. Arcana, please. Oh, Arcana. Oops. Oops, I rolled athletics. <laughs> 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 you look at your muscles and you're like, I don't know, but I'm pretty beholden to these guns. <laughs> Fourteen. All right, that was Taurus. Fourteen. Here's mine. I got minus one. Athletics. Yeah. And, uh, ah, luckily I remember a lot. He has minus one intelligence. No way. Yeah, I have plus so, three wisdom. After three rolls, you got a seventeen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I remember a lot about our beholders. You remember, friends. you remember a decent amount of mostly uh, stories that were told to you as a kid that like like spook stories. Yeah, and um, I mean, uh, once you told me a lot about beholders. Yeah. Don't so. go outside. Right. Around the yeah. Beholders. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you probably when you were hanging around. What, actually, here's the thing: when one shoe was trying to bureaucromance his way around Mormon, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> around uh, Sumgar. You were hanging out a lot with him, and he you probably would have picked up a lot, because he was probably, like, jabbering out about beholders and yeah, stuff like that. Mm, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this? <laughs> I'm gonna no, fuck that, that cartoon fuck fox. Um, I'm gonna fuck that fish. Um, so you know, you know that they are aberrations. Uh, they are... In, they are maniacal, generally I speaking. My maniacal. Fist when aberrations insane um they are completely narcissistic they consider themselves not only the most important creatures in the world they consider them the they themselves the one beholder the most important beholder in all of beholder kind <laughs> um, they so are good. incredibly intelligent they are conniving um just for fun, because you used to be a Waterdeep guy, you've heard world, uh, rumors about how a lot of people suspect that all of the criminal underworld of the water, of Waterdeep is controlled by an ancient beholder deep mm. in, the, in the undermountain. Um, Does he share that with the party? Yeah, I, I tell. I'm okay. fucking going off. Yeah. So I say we can either try to appeal to his ego, or we can kill him. I say let's avoid him until we need to do one or the other. Okay. I would say, Ricky, smarter. you also, knowing 
like having one shoe talk to you about size and, and things like that of beholders. This one looked a little smaller than some of the ones that he was researching. Um, okay. Definitely bigger than Sumgar, but um, not, maybe not a fully not maybe not a fully uh, grown beholder. Actualized beholder. Not a fully actualized. How long do they fully, live? Well, just for my brain. I actually don't know that question, that answer. <laughs> unlimited. Um, I do know that most beholders come; they are born from the dreams of other beholders, so Weird. they come into birth through dreams. That's fucking bizarre. They're bizarre yeah. creatures. They, they're not from this world. What do I know about beholders? What'd you get? Nineteen. Oh, oh. You, you know all that shit, and you probably also know they come from space. Ah! Right? Out there space. <laughs> Originally, like it's one of those things where it's like you heard about your like. They, oh, yeah, you've heard that they you've, I've heard that there yeah, there's stories of beholders the size of stars that they float around in the astral oh plane God. and there there may be a great empire of beholder that moves like an armada of planets basically through the galaxy. It's but who the fuck knows if that's true. Okay. When I hear that I say <laughs> we have to kill him. He's not of this world. I don't know if he'd share that <laughs> bit of Yeah, I, I don't stuff. I actually would not. Oh, Say okay. anything about that? I would probably take that and rationalize it to myself and be like, "Yeah, this probably isn't true." Yeah. To, I mean, how can someone get to space? The yeah. mighty teenage boy. The mighty yeah. teenage wonder mind. <laughs> wonder boy. Yeah. So uh, um, I guess I'm going to stealthily come up and try to stealthily help everyone else up. Okay. Can I okay. keep my stealth roll? Would no. you? Have? I'm, I'm going to have you re-roll stealth because the situation has definitely been long enough and it has changed because Ricky... Uh, so actually, yeah, everyone roll stealth. If, if you want. I got a 22. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. You got a 21. I got a 21. You got a 21. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, we're sneaky AF. I'm going to be hanging back. I'll bring up the rear. Uh, okay. I will so cast guidance. I'll touch everyone's rear. So Brina got a 19. And Ricky got a 21. Oh, I'll do Taurus. Oh god, you're gonna need to do Taurus. Hold on one second. Let's do. Let's uh. Let's have Taurus hang Let's back. hold the phone here. Taurus uh, is climbing up. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> He's like, let me at him. Let's go. Okay, so you got a 22 Bjorn and a 21 for Ricky. Mm-hmm. See the sneaky in. boys, the bank See bros. The dumb C spawn C. Sneaky boys. I'm up yeah, there with we, a 19. Yes, a 19. Taurus is kicking and moaning. He wants up. A 19. I'm going to let him roll. Wait, who got a 19? Brina. Brina. Okay. So you're going to want to boost uh, Taurus because he got four. I will cast. Okay, so before before you start, you, I mean, like, this is going to take a process, right? Yeah. Uh, Ricky, you get out, and you see these the two fishmen are not not 30 feet away from you. Um, and they're just kind of pushing each other. One of them slaps the other one with his tentacles. Mm. Doesn't seem to notice you. Uh, Am I there? You pull, you pull up uh, Bjorn, and they're still seeming to argue. Uh, and uh, they haven't noticed you. Okay, I tap Ricky, and I say, uh, I motion from the... I make like a talking motion. I say, let's talk to them. I'm like, stop trying to talk to mute. <laughs> Just like, no. Oh, let's just. All right. Okay. I, mean, I look. Go okay. I sit there. I look. I give him like a look in the eye. What are you gonna say? <laughs> you. Me or them? To you. What are you gonna say to them? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk to them. You wanna try to talk to them? Yeah. All right. What do you say? I say, look. <laughs> First of all, I say, I'm just like sweating and holding my I say, hello. Hello. I'm going to cut right to the point here. Look, I know you're scared of Lagoosh. Uh, we are Lagoosh. also scared it's of him. It's not end. I know that you are probably in servitude to him, and I know you're not happy about it. I'm going to say, look. We want to kill Lagoosh. You probably secretly also want to kill Lagoosh. Let's work together. Make a persuasion check. All right. Well, here before you before you roll it, I sigh I... and I pull out some um, mushroom, and I walk for him with it open palm. Oh, open. you're gonna you're gonna bribe him with some mushroom. Can I cast yeah. guidance, Booch? No. Uh, you can you can roll with advantage though because Ricky is offering yeah. something. 
Good old Ricky getting the mushroom. Persuasion? Yes, please. 18? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I, I turn to Bjorn and I say, here's what we do. Maybe we get them just all to leave. We get them to leave with their friend. To so leave. they... they oh, one of them starts to turn around, the other one <laughs> latches his uh, tentacles around him. I say, look, 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 we're all <laughs> here. And grabs onto the mushroom with his teeth, pulls it like, Gets a little bit of skin. Gets a little bit of skin. Ooh. But he's just... <laughs> I say, take it easy, Ricky. It's okay. I just get it. <laughs> I will. I'll also uh, give them a ration to let them know that we don't mean any harm. They don't seem to be running away, but they don't seem they. They're kind of in the middle right now, <laughs> in terms okay. of. I say. I say. Look, I know that you're afraid of Lagoon. <laughs> Nah, I know that you would rather nah, be Nagus, there's an N! With an there's N. An N! There's an N in there. Lagu what? Nagus! Nah, Nagus! Nah, Nagus! Nah, 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 nah. I say, look, I know, you're, I know you're living in fear of Nagus. I, I don't imagine... The, I point to the dust pile. I can't imagine... I say, look, you don't want to end up like your friend, do you? As they're as you're talking, they're just kind of walking towards the hole, like, skirting around you. Yeah. I say, look, let's work together. We can accomplish. We can kill Lagoosh. You can live freely. Nagoosh. 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 Oh, but I say Lagoosh. I, I fucking, I fucking tap. Make, a, like, make another persuasion roll without advantage. Like, go. With advantage. Without. Without advantage. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Seven, I can't believe you're five, gonna walk with a minus one. Plus two. Now, is that a reaction to cast that? By the way. No. What is it? It's an action. Oh, so yeah. We're going we're gonna, to we're be cutting back on that a lot. <laughs> um, and so they look at each other again. And then they both jump into the hole. No! Um, you see Brina and Dove and Taurus and Olesa. Uh, I'll see these fishmen there just look around, frightened from them, and then... They take yeah, it. Don't hurt I them. fucking walk over to the um, I walk over to the pit and I'm like, hey, Bjorn, sweet, talk to them. They stole my mushroom. What a piece of shit. Come on up, guys. <laughs> I pull them up. Oh, I had a piece of mushroom. I could have given it to them. Yeah, well, they weren't. Know. They were done taking your things. <laughs> yeah, they were fucking mindless. Well, mutants. they're lost, right? They're not very intelligent. <laughs> so uh, I them up. All right, so everyone gets pulled up, and well, I tried. Seems that the fishmen have been sufficiently scared away by you, possibly away from this place. Yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. that there's a beholder somewhere in this temple. Well, at least they won't behind, be disintegrated. Yeah, and behind could. behind uh, somewhere also somewhere in this temple uh, lays Azim Korzak's papers and your path to twelve strong magic users, and that's where we'll pick up next time. We oh! We're gonna get disintegrated. <laughs> I know. That's why we should avoid fighting directly with a disintegrator. Disintegrator. <laughs> the disintegrator. We don't Alrighty. have a, we don't have a lot of options. You don't even know the kind of option um, I have. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, you can tell us what kind of options you have. Can't tell you for the next game. Maybe Ricky will, will come up. Gotcha. Maybe you'd be like, hey, yeah, check this out. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Um, hope you had fun, even though it was a bit of a short a shorty. Thank you yeah, so much for playing fun. my game. Um, I think, uh, you know, we, we made the most of it. We, Sorry we, it took us so long to get started. Yeah. Like, we could have started earlier. That's fine. Sorry, you guys talked about Tom Hanks for an hour. <laughs> and I was, I was uh, waiting for the call. Um, but yeah, anyways, hope you had fun. Uh, it, I, also, um, are you around this week and Booch? Yes. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Just trying to want a theory craft. I don't really have. I I I don't, I don't want to like let you in on too much, but it's just like I, I need to figure a way to like scopeify this because the stories given in Traveler are loot. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. 
I can imagine. Like planets in Nate, and I'm yeah. Like, mm. Figure the rest out. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, do I like grab a D and D book and do I like wrap it in a, a like a temple? Like yeah. It, it's like I need I need some guidance. I need some parental guidance. On some parental. Yeah, we can All we right. can have a we can have a, a clerical <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Um, I also want to say I. Uh, when I the voice for Nagush, I noticed that you guys responded well. That's because I was thinking about a beholder and the way they always pictured with these huge toothy grins. And I'm like, they they, they they can't talk normally. They probably talk like this. <laughs> yeah, he was so good. Yeah, no. Wait, so is he a floating orb, or is, yeah. I assumed he had like a like he almost was like a, like a bad meaty cloak of eyes. <laughs> No, they are like big meatballs with okay. eye tendrils coming out and then a big middle eye. It's like really, I mean, they're classic because they've been around for, for so long, but Beholders are the dumbest monster design. Yeah, they look fucking lame. No, you're yeah. wrong. They rule. <laughs> Beholders rule. <laughs> wrong. They're, they're 